everyone i welcome you all to this lesson today i'm going to discuss a poem and the name of the poem is caterpillar which is written by krishnia rosetti in this poem i will discuss line by line explanation word meanings and moral of the poem so here i begin first of all i will discuss the title of the poem caterpillar caterpillar means a worm like insect that transforms into a butterfly or a moth many butter many caterpillars are striped and colorful this is a wonderful poem for a child to memorize and study it is short simple and concrete yet contains many poetic and literary elements that even a child can grasp easily now i will tell you something about the poet krishnia rosetti she was an english poet who wrote a variety of romantic devotional and children poems she was famous for writing the poem called goblin market and remember she was born on 5th december 1830 and died on 29 december 1894 Now a brief description about the poem caterpillar Caterpillar means the larva of a butterfly or moth It has a long soft body many short legs and often brightly colored or spiny skin The poet describes the beauty of a of the caterpillar which is brown in color covered with fur Caterpillars do not stay in this stage for a very long period of time. In this stage, all they do is that they eat. They start eating the leaf onto which it was born so that they can grow quickly. A butterfly life cycle has four stages. That is egg, larva, that is the caterpillar, pupa and finally into the butterfly. the caterpillar sheds their old skin four or more than four times when they are in the growing stage so that a new skin takes place of its grown body now let us begin the poem and the lines are drown in fury caterpillar in a hurry take your walk to the shady leaf or stalk or what not which may be the chosen spot no toad spy you hovering bird of prey pass by you spin and die to live again a butterfly now the word meaning caterpillar means the larva of a butterfly or moth it has a long soft body many short legs and often brightly colored or spiny skin fury means covered with fur hairy means he or hairy stalk means the main part of the plant or trunk spy means secret agent hovering means to stay in one place in the air usually by moving the wing quickly prey means an animal that is hunted and killed by another for food spin means revolve or turn now the explanation of the poem in this poem the poet says that the line brown in fury describes the caterpillar's exterior appearance the poem says that caterpillar is in a hurry which describes the caterpillar very short life the line take your walk to the shady leaf or stalk means that the butterfly is hiding place it eats all the time and grows really fast and hides itself from its enemies the caterpillar during its growing stage has to change the skin four or five times the line may no toad spy you may the little birds pass by you means that caterpillar fears its natural enemy the line spin and die to live again a butterfly means that 
the caterpillar finally turns into a butterfly which is so beautiful to see that we can't help appreciating it now i move towards the moral of the poem the caterpillar teaches us the wisdom of constant and incremental evolution and offers the promise of flying to compete to advance and to win in our business and in our personal lives we must evolve constantly and purposefully always it is the ability to adjust your strategy that brings success the environment is uncertain and changing and changing with it is vital the five things what we learn from caterpillar is firstly continuous eating for growth which means keep on learning till we reach our full growth secondly embrace change which means that we have to happily endure those changes which totally transform our life and let it turn us into a better person than before thirdly beauty of the hardship which means that we should gulp our pain of hardship without showing to others and let them see you as the most beautiful person fourthly don't harm others which means that if we can silently endure our hardship without hurting others then that adds beauty in our hardship and above all makes us a better human being lastly can't take our eyes away which means that butterflies are so beautiful that we can't take our eyes away from her similarly if we want to appreciate and become eye catching in life then don't depend on others but stand on your own feet and take yourself to that level where others first reach to criticize you and may god help you to transform into a person as per your desire so with these words i end my lesson hope it will be beneficial for you in your study thank you